green silkway and uh, it says uh, it is with red grape extract and it is a tinted formula for brighter skin uh, and it is suitable for all skin types and it's vegetarian uh, it costs around rupees 275 Indian rupees the consistency of the souffle is just like a pudding it's just like a souffle itself uh, you see it's like so creamy and so pudding like so I'm gonna apply this I'm gonna uh, go out It's not liquidy, but it, it's been nothing after I'm blending. So, so far it's good. The texture is nice. So, as you can see, uh, it covered a little bit of my blemishes, not fully. And so, I think I'm gonna put one more layer on my skin. Let's see how it goes. second layer and it still is a uh, light to medium coverage not full coverage but I really like the effect uh, it's effect on it's really moisturizing uh, and I think I will be getting oily on my t-zone I would like to see how it uh, goes itself on my skin so for today I won't be uh, setting it with some powder I will be trying it like as itself as it is only it's 149 uh, time here and I'll just get ready and go out and let you know how does it went so I have done my makeup and um, right now I'm feeling really good my skin is feeling really moisturized applying this and the tint of this souffle really goes with Indian skin tone so I think it will go to all skin types and all the colors because the pigmentation is very less it is basically a sunscreen and I will let you know how it feels and in case you're wondering what color I'm wearing on my nails um, so this is a neon color from Flormar and it's in shade N004 and I really really like this this is my favorite and do let me know um, if you want me to do any kind of favorite video just comment below and uh, just comment below so this is the color and it's really pretty I have also swatched this color um, the NOTD on my blog if you want to see my blog you can uh, click the link below um, so rest for the souffle I'll tell you uh, when I'll be coming back from my cousin's house and this it's like 2 p.m. now so see you soon Bye. so I'm back from my cousin's house and it's 5 47 uh, and I applied this foundation around 149 or something um, anyways so it's been almost four hours and the rest of, of my face is looking as it is but as you can see I also applied some of the this thing on my eyelids also to mm, give that tinted uh, to cover the darker area around my eyes but it creased like anything I won't recommend you using this on your eyes as a base it creased like badly uh, I can't even tell you how bad it creased it smells like 
grape extract uh, I think that's because it's with red grape extract and that's why it's smelling like grapes and the texture of this uh, VLCC souffle may resemble to uh, Revlon photo ready whipped cream foundation but I haven't tried that one so I can't say how it is with your skin rest I would like to say if you're a combination skin just like me uh, use it with some loose powder on your t-zone especially because I got oily on my t-zone badly with this uh, and if you're dry skin it's great for you it's a really really moisturizing I think it will work good in winters because it's re like really hot and it tends to get your skin oily especially on your t-zone fast just because of the high temperature and um, for the oily skin I won't recommend it at all it like it won't go for oily skin so I hope you liked my review and if you want me to do these kind of reviews more just let me know comment below and if you also want to see my favorites video then also comment below uh, see you later bye